Hi, I got an admin user copy vlog episode right here in a screencast. Um, in this copy vlog, I want to talk about how to add a user to the system with a number that you choose as an admin on an individual basis. So an example of this is that um, you want to choose what number the user enters in the machine to access the features on the machine like uh, copying and that that number will be used to pull off their accounting limits. So open up a web browser of your choice. Go to type this in again here. I'll go to Apple's homepage so that I show the full path. Type 10.4.10.60 to go to the URL for the copy machine. Click login. Use the user copy limit and then the password that goes with that user. After that, you'll be logged in. Next, go to properties, manage accounting. And at this point, if you, um, it's really important to know all existing users, you have the power to select and delete them but you don't have the power to change their user ID. Same thing goes if you create a new user. That user ID is fixed. So say you want um, Jody to have the user ID of, um, I'm gonna pick a random number here, three, nine, two, six. Yeah, then at that point, you could add a new user choose the display name which I'm going to write as 3926 the username also 3926 let me check this Actually, this is, sorry, friendly name. This is what I'm going to want to use. I'm going to do Jody2 because it's the second account we have for this person. And then you could uh, put limits in. So let's say we want 500 for color, um, prints, and maybe we want 50,000 for copies. Um, and then I'm going to use these same, I'm going to just copy and paste these limits for printing too. So you set limits between color, um, copying, and printing, and then black and white, copy and printing. You can't, it is absolutely not possible to set a limit for, the same limit for um, copies and prints meaning you can't have a limit for black and white copies and prints that's the exact same. These are separate variables and it's it's that's how the software is written. So at this point I can click apply and now this user is created. So I could give this user this username 3926 they could go to the copy machine press accounting um, or click copy and then type 3926 and then they could go in and use these limits. I'm going to go ahead and make them um, pretty low so that if someone sees this screencast and uses this number um, they can't make 50,000 prints. Alright, so I hope this helps. Um, Admin users know how to create a new user, uh, delete a user, which I'm not going to do an example of, but real quick, you just click on them and click delete selected, uh, and adjust copy limits. So, But the key thing is knowing how to add a new user and give them a user ID that you choose. All right, hope that helps. Thanks.